Okay, I'm Orange Brian here with uh, starting the build of the HK50 uh, GT FBL, the fly barless version. A um, couple of tools that we've got here, full set of screwdrivers and Allen keys. I've got some more Allen wrenches. Sometimes you need two of them, for example, to uh, remove the feathering shaft and the head here. And just to have opposing uh, sort of forces once against the other. And plus a different couple different kinds of lock there. We've got the blue for everyday use. And if stuff we want to be really permanent, we've got the red stuff. So without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, the uh, HK550 uh, comes with the head completely assembled. Now, don't believe it. Um, you're going to have to go through all of these uh, metal-to-metal connections, remove them, and then put them back together with the blue Loctite. Uh, that's the first thing we need to do, so let's get started. Okay, here I was going through some of these. Today, just taking off one of the, uh, the, the anti-rotation arms, and just want to have a look at that screw. Looks like we've got Loctite in almost all of the, uh, the connectors in here so far. Uh, I've done all these ones around here, and uh, they all came pre-done with Loctite. So it looks like these was put together uh, quite well at the factory. Okay, I just took the uh, the feathering shaft out and I put the one side on, and I'm just going to show you how it's kind of essentially reassembled on this side. As you can see, the feathering shaft is is through. Uh, there's a brass spacer here, and inside the head are the two uh, rubber dampers. There are bearings on the inside and outside of that, so this slides on. Next, there are a couple little spacers here, then this sort of roller. So this has to go so that the this part here goes on the inside. Now, this essentially these little balls go on the inside, so it's going to go this uh, this sort of the bearing race, the bearing with the balls on the inside, and then the other side of the uh, the bearing race there, a washer, and then the bolt. And as you can see, if you look on this bolt, it came with a full set of. Uh, Loctite. So everything was Loctite down. It was it was very solid. That being said, don't trust it on yours. Yours might have been built by a different guy or uh, or a different batch where it wasn't Loctited. So definitely take your whole head apart and uh, and and redo it. Now, one thing I'm going to add is that she chose in the manual for the uh, Align model to use grease. Now I like to use TriFlow. This is a bike chain lubricant and uh, I find it's great for, uh, for helicopter parts. So I'm just going to use that instead of the uh, um, of the of the grease type of lube. Okay, so there it is. This is the head that uh, has been completely disassembled, loctited, properly lubricated, and properly uh, torqued down, essentially. Um, so I know that this is going to be completely airworthy before we go flying. Uh, one note, it's okay to have this a little bit notchy. Mine isn't, isn't, isn't notchy, but tighten it down as much as you can. But remember, this is going to be, the head's going to be spinning around very fast, uh, over 2,000 RPM. And the blades are going to be pulling out, which is actually going to loosen the, uh, the bearings. So tighten it down as much as you can, and it will actually uh, loosen up under load. So that's the way to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is build the tail. And uh, to the same thing as the head, we're going to take this apart and uh, put all the screws back in, make sure that everything is properly locked headed down and also there's the thrust bearings in here as well make sure that they're pro uh, properly lubed so let's uh, disassemble this lock tight it and and lube it okay here's uh, halfway through the tail here i've taken the uh, tail blade grip off of the uh, the feathering shaft that they go well it's not really a feathering shaft but the the blade holder here and you can see the bearing has came off of the uh, the blade grip, that's fine, that's no big deal. I just wanted to show you the order of uh, what goes inside of the blade grip here. And as you can see, it's the same thing. We've got a spacer, the uh, the bearing race, the bearing itself, another bearing race, a, uh, a bolt, and a washer. And once again, uh, this had a little bit of um, Loctite on it. It wasn't as much, so there's uh, some inconsistency with how much obviously uh, so make sure that you put it on and of course there's no lube on this as well so we're going to put a few drops of oil and just put it through in that order with the balls on the that are exposed on the inside you can see what i mean there's the uh, the holder and you don't you can only see parts of the uh, the ball bearings and then this side you can see all the the ball bearings that side 
goes inside uh, towards the, the center of the, uh, the tail rotor hub. Okay, so that's all been done. Everything uh, works fine now. Everything has been uh, added to some lubricant and a Loctite, so it's not going to fall apart. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the uh, to the boom. And uh, a couple things you need, obviously the boom itself, you're going to need the, the tail fin. Uh, even though it's not useful aerodynamically, it keeps your protects your uh, tail rotor from hitting the ground. So uh, we're going to attach that as well. And you're also going to need this little doodad here. There's a teeny little button that comes in this package. So, uh, And what that does is it goes through this hole here and then in through this hole in the tail boom. And that keeps the, uh, the whole tail rotor assembly from turning around. So let's install that. So here it is out of the package. This is this tiny little uh, piece. And so uh, let's get it all together. First thing we need to do is take these screws out of the uh, whole tail rotor assembly. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put this little doodad in here. Oh, sorry, we're going to put this through onto the tail boom itself. As you can see, I've got the two holes lined up almost, so we're going to put it through here. Now we put this little doodad in there. That keeps everything from moving. Okay, so this locks the whole thing in place. And I'm going to make sure that it's firmly in there. There we go. As you can see, it's been pushed in and it's recessed. Okay, so it's all the way in. Now it's not going to move. I mean, there's a bit of play in there, but uh, it's, it's, you're not going to get it to twist any significant amount. And we're going to put this on there. That keeps that little piece from going through. And then we'll lock tight some of these bad boys down. Because it's metal on metal. Put too much, put too much on there, so we can just put on the two of them. And then screw that down. And what that'll do is just hold everything all together. And that's the tail boom. Or at least the uh, tail rotor end of it. So now we've got the, the pin in there, as well as as you can see, as I tighten this up, this is going to clamp down. So now it's not going anywhere. We're 100% solid on this tail. And with the Loctite, this is not coming apart. And there we go. And if you see, we can put the, push the torque tube in and I can get the action going and go wee. We're working. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the tail on the fuselage. A few things we're going to need for that, obviously the uh, fuselage, the uh, the tail boom, which we've already put the uh, the end on. These are little guides. Don't forget to put these on, the pushrod guides. Uh, these are the uh, mounts for the uh, um, the supports, uh, the supports themselves, all that hardware, and of course your uh, horizontal tail fin if you're going to install that. So let's put it all together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the uh, all the, these doodads on the uh, the tail boom. We'll uh, start with put these uh, the pushrod guides on. You need to loosen those off a little bit, and then you can slide them on. I like to put them both the same way, and uh, doesn't matter which way, but it just keeps things neat. Slide back. One's going to sit in front of the, the boom mount and uh, of course the, uh, the support mount and then in behind. So these are going to go somewhere in here. Then you've got those two, uh, the guides. But uh, it doesn't really matter because this we can put on at any time. So, uh, but we'll, we'll do that right now actually. So what we can do is figure out which way it goes. So it looks like this is the top. As you can see, one part sticks out more than the other. So this is the top, that's the bottom there. And uh, we can put it on whichever way. I'm going to put it on this way with it pointing backwards. So what you do, get this, put it on. Sorry, this is supposed to be frontwards, that's the front side. Drop these through. Uh, 
Um, we are going to use a little Loctite, but I'm not going to put that on right now because we can get that done later. And then we'll just kind of put this in place so that it holds down. Since we're just getting it in place so we uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's the basics. Next thing to do, we've got four bolts here that need to be loosened. Now, there's not going to be any Loctite on these, and nor should there be, because they're into some uh, lock nuts. And that's plenty enough to, uh, to hold them in. In fact, if you put the uh, Loctite on, it might actually damage the, the lock nuts. Okay, I've loosened this up. I actually took a knife blade and put it in between just to sort of break the seal there. Now I can get this in. Okay, as you can see, it went in and make sure I've got the right way. And pushed in as far as it'll go. Okay, you have a clunk. Then what I like to do back it off just a little bit and what that does is it takes some of the the pressure off the ends of the uh, the torque tube so there's gonna be not gonna be any binding and you can see it should be fairly smooth I can you can, I don't know if you can see it turning there as I turn the uh, the tail rotor and it's, it's very very loose at that point we can just crank these bolts down if you're gonna redo these ones these ones here We'll need Loctite, but not the the back ones, which have the uh, lock nuts already. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to attach the tail boom supports. And they go from this point right here, there's a, uh, a screw going into a metal tab at the end, to this point right there. And it's metal to metal on both those, so you need Loctite. And uh, the other thing about these, if you look, you can twist, the ends come right off. Looks like they tried to CA them in or proxy them or something like that, but it didn't really work. So you're going to have to make sure that you uh, do that as well. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put it in, size everything up, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll glue them in after that. So the first thing to do is we can uh, screw it at one end, and then we'll uh, move position this, the, uh, the, the boot tail boom uh, mount here, and we'll... Uh, attach the, the rear end. Okay, so that's the tail mounted. Uh, the uh, tail booms are in place. We've got them locked headed here and here. See the, uh, the the actual boom supports into the boom support ends there. Next thing I'm going to do is we're just going to tighten down the boom support itself at the end here. See it's loose, so I didn't put any CA on that one. I'm just going to loosen these bolts off. We're going to put some Loctite on and then we'll uh, crank them down and then everything will be nice and solid.